Hello you guys, I'm Janice Wilson Hughes, the owner of Evolution Stoneware Pottery. I'm about to attempt to glue a goatskin head onto a ceramic drum that I've made. This is the first time I've tried this and I'm going to be following the instructions laid out in the book from Mud to Music. Now the drum itself is very simple form made in two pieces. It's shaped somewhat like a short doombeck, but it's based on the form clay base that was in that book. I have my ceramic drum shell here and I've made it slightly triangular at the top. That may not be perfectly ideal from a sound perspective. I don't really know. I'm going to try it and find out. I also have my goat skin soaking in some water. It's been in there for about an hour, or an hour and 15 minutes. You could probably get away with a half hour. That's just how long mine has been soaking. I also have this clamp, this hose clamp, which I had to order online because they don't sell them this big near me. So the outer diameter of this is about 10 inches. I've already got this roughly set to the widest point here. And basically all I have to do is tighten this screw here to really tighten that down. Now, once I get my skin out, I'm going to apply glue to the top of this drum. I've left this unglazed so that the glue will stick better. And I'm just using my handy dandy Elmer's glue here. So we'll get the skin draped over top with the glue on here. Clamp it down, tighten that clamp up, and start pulling the skin tight around the edges. And then I'm going to let it dry. So let's go ahead and get the skin. Okay, this is my drum head, and I want to treat it with some reverence because this was a creature previously. Now, this has a hair side and a skin side, and I want to put the hair side up. Uh, if, when you order a skin, you'll be able to tell because there's a little bit of stubble left on the hair side. And also, if this shows up, there's a bit of a line here. That was the spine, and the skin is a little bit thicker there. So ideally, you want to have that lined up down the middle so that you have sort of an even pressure distribution across that thick spot. So I'm just going to lay this on my drum and take a look at it. This was a very inexpensive skin, and it does have a fair amount of irregularity to it, and maybe a bit of a hard spot, which I'm hoping won't be a problem, but we'll see. So I'm gonna wanna have it on here something like this. So that just gives me an idea. And I should mention, when I took this out of the water that it was soaking in, I just kind of blotted it with the towel. So it's not dripping wet, but it's still pretty wet. Hopefully I didn't dry it too much. Let me get my glue going here. I feel like I would rather use too much than not enough. So I'm going to try to get plenty of glue on here. Squeezing that bottle hard. <laughs> okay, I'm going to smooth it around the edge. I want to try to get a nice even coat. I'm not really going to worry too much about drips right at this moment.
and some of this will be sort of pulled down as I stretch the skin, I believe. But I do want to sort of get the widest point here, the widest diameter coated, and that's a little bit below the unglazed line. It seems like Elmer's glue is a pretty mild glue to use for something like this, but uh, the advantage is that it is water soluble. So if you screw this up or you need to rehead it, you can just soak it in some warm water and get your head loose. At least in theory. Okay, I'm going to go with that. Ooh. All right, so let's see what we can do here. Goat skin. Get it the right side up. Okay, time to get my clamp on. And when I do this, I'm going to try not to shift the skin out of place. actually loosen my clamp a tiny bit. There we go. Now I can get that to slide down. Okay. So basically I'm kind of trying to get the clamp lined up right now to the point where that glaze free line was which I can see through the skin at this point and then now that I've got it about there I'm going to tighten it up sort of just pull on opposite sides here try to stretch this so I'm still discovering how much pressure I can apply to this having never worked with it before Now the key to the drum sounding good is for this to be really tight and as it dries the skin will shrink and tighten up more so that's basically what this method of applying head is relying on is that this is going to be put on about as tight as you can and then have it shrink and dry back to provide enough tightness for this to make a nice sound when you play it. So it's important to stretch this. Clamp 
is popping up. You have to readjust the clamp. Well, ideally you want the tension to be as even as possible. It's pretty tricky with this method. I'm trying to feel for any air bubbles and smooth them out. because that will definitely weaken the attachment. So I'm just figuring this out as I go, you guys. One thing I'm noticing is I'm getting some glue on the inside edge, sort of squidging out right around this inner area, and that's not ideal. So sort of depending, I may try to reach in from the inside and clean some of that up here in a bit. Well, this glue is going to dry a little bit slower than usual because the goat skin itself is wet. Well, I don't think I can do much more on this one, at least without losing the clamp and adjusting this over here, and then I'm going to lose all the tension that I've already put in it. So I'm going to let her dry, and we'll see what happens. I have a wet sponge here. It's not dripping wet, but it's a little more wet than fully wrung out. So I'm going to sit it here in the middle while this dries. So this will keep the skin wet as this glue hopefully dries first. And then the head itself will dry out. This will be tacked down and as the head dries, it'll shrink and get tighter, hopefully. I'll see you back in a day or two. I'm going to demonstrate what the clay bass drum sounds like now. Please put on some good headphones or run this through your stereo because you will not be able to hear accurately what this sounds like through your cell phone, tablet, or laptop speakers. Believe me, you guys, this thing has some crazy bass. And if you really want to hear it, put on some good headphones or run it through your stereo now.
If you're into ceramics, check out my professional DVDs and instant video downloads that are available on Amazon. Just search Janice Wilson Hughes or Evolution Stoneware Pottery and they'll pop right up. I think you'll really get a lot out of them. Connect with me on Facebook at my page, Evolution Stoneware. I'd love to be friends with you there. And if you want to know whenever I upload new videos, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll be notified. Now, if you get a lot out of my free videos, please consider making a small donation to my channel. It would be appreciated more than I think you can even realize. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.